Hello everyone, this is Dan with Syntex, and today we're going to be going over on how to use a Chrome driver to use a Chrome browser through our code with Selenium. Uh, quick note, if you hadn't watched our previous videos, please go ahead and do so. As we had mentioned before, we're going to be building upon previous lessons. And if you hadn't watched our Selenium uh, install and download video, please go ahead and do so. Uh, it's absolutely vital that you do have Selenium and the drivers in which we showed you how to go ahead and configure and download all that um, through that lesson. So please go ahead and watch that before you continue on with this. Now let's go ahead and get started. So as we talked about, Selenium can utilize many different browsers and how it does so is by using drivers. Now we're going to have one example today. We're going to do a Chrome driver. Now I created a class here in my Selenium project called Chrome just for uh, simplicity stake. So and we also have our main method here. So now what we need to do is we need to set our property, right? We need to set our system and let it know what tool we want to use. So how we do that is by simply writing capital S system dot. And then if we type in set, we see here that you can either do control space um, and you, you'll get this pop up as well if you hadn't seen it already. If we come down, we see here that says set property. This is the one we want. So let's go ahead and select this option here, this method. Now we see here, uh, again, we have a statement. So we always use a semicolon here to close a statement. And we see we have key and value. Now what we need here is to let our system know what tool we want to use and where they can find that tool. All right. So how we do that is I want to let it know that I want to use a Chrome driver. OK, so what we're going to do is type this in exactly. We're going to type in web driver dot chrome dot driver. OK, so this let them uh, let my system know I want to use the web drivers. I want to use Chrome and I want to use the Chrome driver, right? So now what we're going to do is, as I said before, is we're going to let our system know where they can find this tool. Now, if we go here, I had created a drivers folder. And if you'd watched that install video, we would have to do the same, right? So we have our driver folder and we see here we have Chrome driver and we have a Gecko driver. We'll talk about Gecko driver in another video, but we want to use the Chrome driver, right? So if we right click on Chrome driver and we come down here to properties, we see here we have a path, we have a location. We don't need this whole thing here, right? So what we can use is just from the drivers folder right here to where it says all the way to the end where Chrome driver. So I'm going to copy this. Okay, so now I've copied it. I'm going to go ahead and put it here as my other argument. All right, so now what I've done is I set my property, I set my system property, I let my system know what tool I want to use and where I can find that tool, okay? So now what else I need to do? Well, as we talked about in our architecture video is that how we communicate with the internet uh, and how Slim does that is with a web driver and it's an interface, right? So we need to go ahead and call that interface. So what we have to do is type in web driver and here we go. And then we have to give it a name, right? So when we make an instance of something, we tend to have to give it a brand new name, right? So industry standard, I mean, again, you can name it anything you want, but the industry standard is to typically, we would see it as spelt like this, just driver. Um, and again, you know, naming convention, uh, proper uh, etiquette is to name something um, very, very similar to what it actually is. So when other people read our code, <clears throat> excuse me, they can see or understand exactly what we're doing, right? So I named it driver. Then we have to do equals new. Now, what we also have to do here is I'm using my web driver, right? My web driver interface, but I'm using a Chrome driver. Now, what we also have is a Chrome driver class that I want to use as well. So I'm going to type that in Chrome driver. So now what I said is I want to use my web driver interface, right? I want to, I named it driver. And I also want to use the abilities and methods that is within my Chrome driver class. Now we see here we have a little bit of a compile error. 
it's given us this little underline and little X over here. Now let's go ahead and we can hover over and see what the issue is. And we can see here that we need to import the web driver and same over here, we need to import the Chrome driver. Now we could either again, hover over and select this option uh, and select import. And then you see here, it imports our web driver. I uh, see here it comes from the Selenium library, right? Now we do the same thing over here. Um, another tool or another kind of like shortcut key that we can do um, for uh, Windows, you can do, um, I think it's Command or Control Shift O uh, and, you know, right, like ours Command Shift O for Mac as well. Uh, and here we go. And that's how we import it. So now that we've imported our interface in our class, now we're ready to go. We're ready to use a Chrome browser. So let's go ahead and test and make sure we did everything correctly. So we have our driver and we're gonna use a method called get and we're gonna go over this. These are some of the web driver navigational commands. Uh, we're gonna go over that in another video, a little more depth. So what we need to do is pass a URL. So let's just say I wanna go on Amazon like I did in my previous example. So I'm going to type in the URL for Amazon. Com. And here we go. So in theory, if I did everything correctly, we went ahead and we imported the tools that we needed, right? We inter we imported from our Selenium library, our web driver interface, and from our Selenium libraries, our Chrome and our Chrome driver class. That's our public class here. Now we see here that we have uh, set our system, or if we set our system property, we let it know what tool we want to use and where it can find that tool. Now, a big thing is why we need to use drivers, um, sort of for security reasons. Um, Google will not allow Selenium to completely manipulate and interact directly with their browser itself, um, just for security purposes. So we have to use this little third party tool here, which is a driver. So it kind of acts as a middleman between us and the browser itself. And if we had talked, uh, if you guys had watched the architecture video, that would have made a little more sense. Okay. So again, we have our tool where to find it. We imported our web driver interface. We put imported our Chrome driver class, and now we're ready to go ahead and go to use our driver and go to amazon.com. So let's go ahead and run this code and hopefully we should go to amazon.com. So let's see. And here we go. We see that we have navigated to amazon.com. Well, that's it for this one, guys. Uh, in the next video, we're going to go over how to use a Firefox driver. And that's it, guys. So see you next one and happy coding.